Diane Dewald with creativecatcrafts.com. I finally said it right. This was take number two. Um, you get to see my face tonight and my next video that I'm releasing. I'm doing a new series on Tuesday nights. It's called Back to Basics and I'm basically taking the Stampin' Up! annual catalog and I am going back to the basics. So if you're brand new to stamping, um, need a refresher on something, head on over to my YouTube channel. Um, it's down below uh, in the video description. Uh, you can click on uh, the title of my channel and head over there and I'll have a separate playlist for Back to Basics. But today I'm going to show you some of the products I bought during the demonstrator pre-order. And I tell you, I can't wait to get started on this. My Christmas cards, I'm not into really big into fall and Halloween and Thanksgiving, but I like to, for fall birthdays, I like to, sorry, I like to um, use fall themed uh, cards and products. So I'm gonna show you today some hidden gems from the annual catalog that could apply to the fall Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween-ish. Then I'm going to show you, I can't show you the inside of the catalog for the mini. It ordering goes live September 6th and yes, yeah, September 6th. And then I'm going to show you some online exclusives only. So don't forget to in this little little, whoops, wrong side, little QR code over here. Um, if you scan it with your phone, it'll take you to um, my shop and then go to the online exclusive only. And those are in no print catalog. They're online only. And I've got a couple items that I snagged from that area as well that I'm going to show you today. So without further ado, Let's check this out. So we're going to start with the annual catalog and some items that I snagged from it. And it's mostly embellishments. So, oops, I got two, three, three of those. So let me just get those set out of the way. Um, it's back on page and I did not mark these. Oh, hey, turned right through it. All the gemstones start at page 139 and go to 141. And I snagged the Festive Pearls, which is on page 140, number six, item six on the page. Then these are neutrals adhesive backed sequins. And I thought this would be great for a fall because, where are they? They're over here, eight. You've got copper, silver, brown, and gold. And that, if you're doing fall cards, um, these are perfect. And the festive pearls, they, the colors are cherry cobbler, green, they just call it green, silver, and gold. The silver and gold remind me of some gemstones from a couple years ago. And then this, I cut it down to fit into my little storage pocket. And these are, what are these? Adhesive backed sequins. And where were they on this page? Adhesive backed, I know they came, adhesive backed sequin trio. In the catalog, they look really dark, but it is it coordinates with the Masterfully Made Suite on page 102 and 103. It's Pretty Peacock, Berry Burst, and then, oops, there they are, White. And these are really beautiful, but these would be perfect colors if you're doing kind of the non-traditional Christmas. So 102, I don't remember, 102 and 103. So it coordinates with this, but in my opinion, if, like I said, if you're doing non-traditional Christmas colors, these would be perfect. And then the last item, it was some dies, and I've seen a lot of cars with these, these nested essentials dies. Aren't these so cute? 
you've got multiple, there's four different, oops, my husband just texted, there's four different um, dies in each one of the shapes. And I've seen some really beautiful stuff with these in some fall and Christmas cards. So I wanted to pick those up from our annual catalog. So before I get to the mini, oops, sorry for the glare on that. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I found in the online exclusives. I'll have a copy of this down below. It's a PDF and it's got my contact information, this QR code. Uh, most of these products that um, are linked out on the exclusives, they came out actually beginning of July, so I'm a little behind. But in July, I wasn't ready to look at Christmas. I wasn't ready to really look at Christmas in August. I'm only now just getting really excited about it. But this QR code, if you scan it with my phone, uh, will take you to uh, my Stampin' Up! website. So I'll have a link for this down below. But it's got some really cool stuff on this flyer, but there's a lot more out there. For example, what's not on this is I picked up some silver foil. It's three sheets of different, sorry for the glare, my lighting, three different shades of a silver foil. And I can't wait to put this with my Christmas cards. That is just gonna be gorgeous. So let me get this set aside. Then one other thing I grabbed. So kits. These are kits. You have several different types of kits that are offered by Stampin' Up. They have what they call stamping kit and a crafting kit. Stamping kits will have, it's kind of like a paper pumpkin. It'll have uh, a, a small stamp set and all the items to make your projects. And it usually has a little, and I don't have one handy, a little stamp and spot for the ink. Um, I like to buy the kits, or the stamp, either the stamping kit or the, the crafting kit. And I take the supplies and I make cards. So last year I bought a kit and I made some beautiful Christmas cards with it. So the kit I bought is called Festive tags kit. So you can make these and use them as tags. It's completely fine. But I saw these tags and I didn't see gift tags. I saw card fronts. So I'm going to put these together while I'm watching TV one night and I'm going to make Christmas cards with these. So I'm super excited because it's all inclusive. This one is a crafting kit. So there's nothing for me to do other than punch it all out, put it together, and put it on a card front. It's easy peasy for Christmas card making. Now, the one exclusive that I am just super excited about is this DSP. And there's one I did forget to mention. This embossing folder need something to back it so you don't see through it. I don't know if it's going to show up very well. It's Leaf Fall 3D. And I this was actually in a catalog from last year. And then they made it an online exclusive. And if you make fall cards, this is really gorgeous. So I'm going to coordinate this with one of the items, stamp sets that I got from the mini, the upcoming mini catalog, and I'll show you that here in a moment. So what I really wanted to show you, because I can't wait to, to break this out. I can't wait to break all of this out. It is six inch by six inch designer series paper, and it's called One Horse Open Sleigh. It coordinates with this One Horse Open Sleigh collection. So it's a suite. 
So the suite, if you buy the suite, you get the bundle, which is the stamp set, the coordinating dies, these little snowflakes, and the six by six inch paper that I'm gonna show you. So everything from my hand up is what you would get if you bought the suite. You can buy each of the items individually. And I have another stamp set that's got a horse and sleigh. This is beautiful, but I just wasn't interested in getting another horse and sleigh. Wish I could get this rabbit alone because it's really cute and works well with what I'm about to show you. So, and these are upside down. This, I have got to get you closer because you are just gonna love, love, love this. Is this not gorgeous? So I'm gonna show you one side and then the next is, this is the back side of that. It's just gorgeous. Isn't this beautiful? I'm just gonna set these down cause uh, it's, it. And then here's the back side. sorry. Let me see if I can do this a little different. There. Is that not beautiful? And then here's the back side. Okay, let's do it that way. Sorry, I didn't have this better planned. This is so beautiful. This paper is just stunningly gorgeous. I see so much with this. Love, love, love this paper. And this little deer. Oh, I wish I had a whole page of this little deer in the tree because I would love to do that as a little circle. It's just gorgeous paper. This, this was a hit. And there's so many designs. And I'm trying to remember. You get four each of these designs. So it's a total of 48, oops, 48 sheets. And it's, and this fox, this little fox, I want this little fox. I want this little fox on a whole sheet of this little fox. And I love, love this wood tone. It's just beautiful. We're almost to the end, I promise. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, last, last design. Is that not gorgeous paper? I am just absolutely enthralled with this. This you can get today. If, and I haven't checked the inventory. I know there's a truck punch with a stamp set bundle. And it's not available until like October 16th or 17th. So... When you go out to the storefront, it'll tell you if it's um, not orderable. Um, we don't, Stampin' Up! no longer does back orders, but um, I believe it'll tell you when it'll be available. And if it doesn't tell you when it'll be available, you can email me and I'll have my email in the description down below. Feel free to email me and ask me when this is going to be available and I will let you know. I can check the inventory on it. So, drum roll. I can't show you the inside and it's killing me because there's so many products, but I can show you what I have. And in fact, hang on one second. I bumped my camera. In my excitement, my head bumped the camera. So, let's start with gemstones. We've got Blooming Pearls. Aren't these beautiful? Beautiful colors. Then these are Faceted Gems Trio. There's some darker gray up here, clear, and then some green down below. These, I'll show it to you in this format. They call these Adhesive Backed Glitter Sequins. I can't show you the page that it all coordinates on, but it's beautiful. They just call this white 
olive green and blue. They don't specifically say which blue this is, but that's what it is. Then we've got, let's see if I can get this ribbon without cutting it. This ribbon is so cute. Look at this ribbon. It's silver rimmed. It's not wired, but it's just silver. It's just, it's beautiful. Then I bought two spools of that because I just see it all over the place. And I bought these loose holly gems and sequins. You can put them in a shaker card, but the nice thing is they also, let's see if I can get some of these. Ooh, some of them are popping out. So, like the red gem, it's flat backed. And these holly leaves are flat, pretty flat. They've got some texture to them, and the, the music notes are also flat. So, if you're really careful with like a, a tiny tip uh, glue bottle, you can glue these onto your card front, or you can use them in a shaker card. But I just thought these were so cute. So cute. Let's see if I can get these closed up without getting them all over the place. That's what usually happens when I have things like this. I usually end up, when I'm trying to open it, like I can't even get it closed. I When I open it, they like go everywhere. Isn't that frustrating? So... For fall, like I said, I don't normally do fall cards, but I thought this was really cute. This rustic crate comes with these stamps and then these dies. So it looks like you've got the base of the crate and Looks like you can do some pop out or you do the base and then these little flaps fold over and you can put this in front so that when you stamp some of these like this, you can put it inside the crate and then put, whoops, put this on the front of it. And you've got the dies that cut out um, this and your poinsettia and your uh, pumpkin and sunflower and corn. You've got a little label. You've got a handle. You've got other crate. Sorry, I got to shut the window. Kids are getting home from school. Noisy, noisy. Sorry about that. But I just thought this was super cute. And then pair it with this falling leaves. So falling leaves this way, or you can do falling leaves that way. I just thought that was super cute. Like I said, I normally don't do fall cards, but this one I had to do. Then, okay. I picked up this, it's Snowflake Sky 3D. And I thought this would be great to do a bunch of texture for things. And I had some DSP somewhere, and now I don't know what I did with it. I know I have DSP. Hang on one second. I gotta find it. Okay, I did find it. This first one is Joy of Christmas. It is 12 by 12 paper. It is double-sided. So again, this is page one or one page. That's the back side. And then back side. Oops. This is really cute. I got too much stuff on my desk. It's becoming unruly. This is really cute. I like the the music notes on it. And then this is nice with the watercolor color foliage and then nice and bright red. I definitely have way too much stuff on my desk. 
and the red checks. The red checks are back again, folks. I love it. And this is wood grain with some music notes on it. I like that. This is really pretty. I love this. And then this is the back side. Isn't that just gorgeous? So that was the joy of Christmas. Then non-traditional Christmas colors, uh, not your red and green. This is called Winter Meadow. And let's see if I can not have that sliding. This is beautiful. I see some beautiful cards made with this. And here's the back side. And then this, and you see these little deer silhouettes. Ugh. I just, I love it. And then, whoops, the back side. This is the back side. And I'm not sure what these berries are. There's, there's a winter berry of some kind. And then you've got the, this pretty peacock and then Lost Lagoon, I believe. And this is gorgeous. I love this. I have a punch that of a, of a polar bear. I see it with this. And then here's the back of that. This, I love these colors together. I think this is the blueberry bushel, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what the colors are in here. Yep, blueberry bushel, garden green. There's some shaded spruce potentially in here. Um, Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock, although I don't think Pretty Peacock's in here. I could be wrong. This is beautiful. Uh, this is this is one of my favorite colors. I just love it. Then you've got a bunch of little evergreen trees, and here's the back side of it. So that paper is just stunning. They did a really good job with DSP this year. And I already showed you this. So let's get into, oh, before I show you that. So in the animal catalog, they had the deckled rectangles. Look, they have deckled circles. So you have circles that measure approximately over five and a half inches on the largest and you're looking at an inch on the smallest. This I cannot wait, cannot wait to work with. I just, I got these a couple weeks ago and I just haven't had time to do it, do anything with them. So Christmas classics, it comes with your stamp set of everything here on the front. And then I had to use two magnetic sheets because the dies are just humongous. And I love this outline. And then it gives you the option of cutting out a square to go in the inside. And the same thing with this one here, you cut out the cardstock base and then you put your sentiment on that. And it's got some fun little texturizers. This holly leaf has got texture in it. Um, that cuts out this and then you can cut out the little holly berries and I believe you can glue them on the base for that and you've got some just some little leaves and this cuts out that so super exciting I love the sentiments in this if you're not in the United States or if you're originally from a non-United States it's nice because you can say happy Christmas Merry Christmas, Christmas wishes. I mean, it's really, really a versatile set. Whoops. My excitement, I can't get this closed. So then this I thought would be really fun with 
some of the DSP I just showed you. You don't want to dress up the front because you want the DSP to speak for itself. Oh, and I haven't put this one together. Look at this. So this is the red rubber. Oh, I'm going to do this for my Back to Basics class. Show you how to put these together. I have a couple different options for that. But I thought, you know, just have a non-frilly tag on the front and just let that DSP shine and be the show. Um, along with, where did it go? Biggest Wish. So this is in the main catalog and this is coming out in the new. You've got your Biggest Wish and you have your More Wishes. These surround Christmas and New Year. Um, it just, you can combine the two. You could say Happy Christmas. Um, birthday wishes, love wishes, valentines. You know, there's lots of different options that you can use these for. Sparkling snowflakes. I am a sucker for snowflakes. As you can see that embossing folder. But I can't wait to, sh to look at this one. So, and use this one. I've got a card I've done before and I'll probably do a version of it uh, using these because I'm just a sucker for snowflakes. And last but not least, this very cute little thing. So this stamp set, it comes with a punch. There is, I can't open it up to show you, otherwise I'd show you. This, this is part of a suite and there's I can't show you, but I can tell you. <laughs> so let me find it in the catalog. You can't see it. So it comes with these, the stamp set, the punch. There's a light blue ribbon. The, um, that is your sweet. Sweet collection includes one of each item listed on the next page. So you get the sequin, the stamp set and punch, that embossing folder, Snowflake Sky, the gemstones. There's ribbon I didn't pick up. There's a memories and more cards and envelopes pack and then there's a memories and more card pack which I also didn't get and the DSP. Uh, it's not that I didn't like the DSP. I like the other DSP that I got better um, but I love this bear. I just had to get this bear. So I, again I didn't break rules. I didn't show you on camera. I just told you what uh, what was in there. So that is my fall and Christmas and winter unboxing. So September 5th, this goes live. If you need a catalog, I'll have a link down below where you can go and request a catalog and I'll get it into your hands as quick as I can. I have a lot of those um, and in the month of September, if you place an order with me, I will, and I can't show you the page in here, but I will send you a free gift of one of the gemstone packs from this catalog. But you have to place an order through me. Use that little QR code. Whoops. Down here. <laughs> this is mirrored. So everything is upside down. And I have a little hard time sometimes. But here's this QR code. You can scan it. And I'll have the link down below as well for you to request a catalog. Um, 
and make me your demonstrator when you log into uh, Stampin' Up. Thank you for joining me today during this unboxing. I tried to keep this short. It ended up being a little over 30 minutes, so apologize for that. But I will see you next Thursday after I have started using some of these items and show you my projects. Have a great day. Thank you.